Yeah. Cam Graham. You gotta earn this shirt. You gotta get a cam to get this t-shirt. Can't just get one. I'm sure Nick will let you buy one. You don't have to be cam. Today I want to talk about the easiest, quite possibly the easiest mod you can do on your ramp. Just plain simply the easiest, simplest mod. You might have guessed it, the easiest engine mod there is has got to be the throttle body. Four bolts and a plug. That's it. And some of you are probably like, wow, well, what about a drop in KN filter? No, because those tabs hurt your fingers, okay? They hurt. That's hard. This is easy. The simplest modification on your engine ever. So simple. So what I'm doing is, Greg Byrne, the man, Greg Byrne, sent me a throttle body, and I'm gonna swap it with the throttle body I have in my truck, it's OEM, and I'm gonna send my OEM one to Dan at Fastband, I'm gonna bore it to 84 millimeter. I got a cam now, so we got a little more air in there. And throttle body talk, what's better ported, uh, true bore, that all depends on your mods, but that's a diff totally different video. The analogy I like to use is, Hold the candle about this far away from your body, right? Try to blow it out with your mouth wide open. When your body doesn't have the strength to push that much air out, when your mouth's wide open, then you don't need something that big. But when you got something that requires a lot more air, a bigger throttle body is better and beneficial. Now I know this ported throttle body is tapered, ported. And then there's the true bore that really takes a whole lot out with the new butterfly. And in fast minute, actually gets rid of the one side of the half shaft so 84 millimeters minus the four millimeter half shaft on one side equals 88 88 millimeter but sticking a giant throttle body on your motor when you hardly have any other bolt-ons or mods is just gonna hurt your low-end torque I have a cam now so I'm gonna get the 84 millimeter throttle body from Fastman and it will help so all I'm doing today is just basically swapping two OEM throttle bodies I'm gonna have mine sent out what Greg's what one Greg gave me on and when the fast man comes in I'll do another video we'll talk about the fast man throttle buddy maybe this can be like a little easiest mod in the world install video maybe we'll see I don't know but my setup right now is uh, this is the eco diesel larger cone eco diesel lower intake box and this is the stock intake box from the 5.7 latches right onto it so this hole is bigger basically that's more air in i have an aem oilless drop-in leg maker carbon fiber intake and eventually a fast band throttle body all right very 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 simple unplug it And these eight millimeter screws. Make sure you go in reverse because they strip very, very, very easily. So once they're all loose, just lift it up. I mean, how simple is that? Extremely simple. And we're gonna throw this one in. Check to make sure your gasket's okay. That's sitting where it's supposed to. There's no parts of it missing. And when you tighten these, do them by hand. They strip very, very, very easy. I stripped one of my 2015 Ram and I was embarrassed for a little while. It's, it's, these go into plastic, it's the upper platinum is plastic. Do them by hand, snug, leave call it a day. Snug, call it a day. These screws literally tighten in three full rotations. And just uh, uh, one foot pound of torque, maybe two. That's it, snug, and that's it. Get the plug, plug it back in. And reconnect your intake tube. 
And that's it. It's easy. Easiest mod there is for your engine. Now this, my OEM throttle body, I'm going to set up to Dan to fast it and get it bored. When it comes in, we'll do another video. And we'll talk throttle bodies. I'll also be doing a video on uh, higher flowing uh, Y collectors for people with Y pipes. I have JVA shorty headers, I have the stock Y pipe, and there's a lot of restriction because they smush the pipes into the Y and just push it in and form a Y, as you can see in the picture. Um, yeah, that's, that's bad. So. This is a magna flow, this is a total flow, and I'm going to just check out the chamber inside, check the flow of them, the quality, the thickness of the steel. Like for example, this one's really shiny. I'm going to get a magnet also and try to detect if there's more alloy versus pig iron when all of them come in. Check the thickness of the steel, check the quality of them, the quality of the welds. Check out the flow inside. By flow, I mean flow pattern. This one seems to be less of a chamber than this one is. This one seems to have a chamber inside of it rather than two pipes flowing, you know, down to one. But that's what I plan on doing. I'll get all four, compare them all, and I'll give you my best opinion. All right, guys, easiest bot in the world, in my opinion, and everyone has them. I'm going with the throttle body. It's so easy. And if you got mods, if you got a cam, a bigger throttle body, a bigger board throttle body is definitely the way to go. It's hot, it's 90 degrees. I'm going in my air conditioned house. All right guys, I'll talk to you soon. Until next time, stay cool.